Good morning, everybody. So if you didn't have the opportunity yesterday to join us in the auditorium, an entire auditorium full yesterday, we all met with the apprentice, apprentice manufacturing companies of Charlotte, North Carolina. They usually have around 15 to 20 apprenticeship opportunities open every year, which are about $175,000 of value for each individual. It's a lot of money they invest. We've had a lot of Olympic students who've sat where you are sitting now be very successful in this process. And you need to know about it because it's a, it's a game changer for you and your family. All right, so, so here we go. I posted in the student hub this morning all the information that you missed. So please read it. It's, it's titled Apprenticeship Invite Presentation for 2023-2024. In the presentation, you can click the link and carefully review and analyze what you missed. Okay, it's a $175,000 opportunity. So you're invited, you and your parents are invited to open house in February 10th and 17th. But, big, big but, you must register and respond to emails to confirm attendance in specific details. Okay, that means on the last slide of this link presentation, you register so you, you and your parents can attend and tour these companies so that you can see if it might be for you, right? It's a networking opportunity. It's a big opportunity, okay? And no matter where you are, sophomores, juniors, seniors, it's for you. Now, you're only allowed to move forward in the entire process, right, if you're a junior or senior. But sophomores are recommended to go, especially if you are very interested in this opportunity. So what this means is that you literally, if you get accepted with this $175,000 opportunity, you are given a full-time salary that makes significant amount of money right out of high school. On top of that, they pay for your college aligned with the career pathway. So you literally are earning money while you're learning. Big deal, much more than just a full scholarship. It's a full career right away. And I can't emphasize enough, no matter what career pathway you pursue, what industry you pursue, you've got to understand the culture of that industry. So the manufacturing culture is you join as an apprentice. You learn from the bottom up. They invest into you, you invest into them, and you grow, right? And you grow in leadership potentially all the way up to the chief executive officer, depending on, right, how the marriage goes. And that's, that's what really be, it, it is. It's a major commitment, right? So this is an opportunity for you to go date these companies, right? Network, meet people, see what they do, right? And have a chance for the opportunity before you close the door forever. So um, we have many Olympic students in the past who've been successful in this process. Some of which uh, are at this link here and you can listen to them. So please stop by my classroom, 604, anytime if you have questions, or Ms. Edges, our career development coordinator's office in Upper 200. So just, to recap some of the things you may have missed. These are the major employers of Charlotte in energy and power and manufacturing. They want to grow their leadership in these companies through the apprenticeship network. They want you now. Okay? They want you now. Schron, Groninger, Siemens, Energy, FAF, Apprenticeship 2000, CPCC. CPCC. 
These are just some of them, right? Like if you don't wanna work for these companies and you wanna work for different companies, you might wanna look to see if they have their own apprenticeship, right? You gotta, every company's different. So they, you know, you just gotta go out there and see what's available out there and see what opportunities are that you can apply for. And you gotta treat it like a full-time job when you are in the application process or the review process. So what is an apprenticeship? I kind of explained it already, right? You're learning on the job with the professional engineers and technicians on site while they pay you to go to school. That's what separates a traditional college student that, that, that doesn't get paired with a career and what they're learning. So to ensure that when you graduate college, you have workplace experience in a career not a student who graduates college with a bunch of debt and no job. That's what you want to avoid at all costs. So I just want to be clear about that. That's, that's kind of one of the things you missed yesterday if you weren't in our meeting. All right, so, you know, this information is here for you to evaluate. And I'm just, I'm not going to go over all of it because I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. Um, but... You know, make sure you read and analyze and, you know, you know, there's obviously some eligibility requirements that you need to take into consideration. There's a, a timeline of events. So if you lit, miss these, this timeline of events, you're out. You're out. There's too many, this is too competitive. Um, and if you're not paying attention to detail and not meticulous and not checking your emails and your clutter, when they, when they send you information and you're not responding properly, you're out. And I, you gotta pay attention to detail. So the big dates are February 10th and 17th, the Saturday mornings, in which you're, you and your parents are invited to tour these companies. You can tour all of them, or the, just the ones you're interested in. We've got alumni at all of them. If that goes well, right, if that goes well, then you'll be invited to orientation. If that goes well, you'll be invited to a six-week six summer uh, paid, six-week summer prepaid pre-apprenticeship opportunity. If that goes well, then the final selections of, of the apprentices will, will happen. So it's, you know, it's highly competitive, right? They analyze your employability skills that I keep talking about, your ability to work in teams, communicate with each other, problem solve, collaborate, your ability to just, just to like articulate your thoughts well, your ability to be likable, right? Friendly, dependable, showing up on time every day. All of it. So how do you, what's the first step in this? And I, and I want to get to that. Um, you know, obviously research the companies, see what different career pathways there are, what relates. We have students from my class in the past in computer integrated machining, mechanical engineering, me me mechatronics, which, which is a mix between mechanical, electrical engineering. Um, they're working in these fields and they're getting paid to go to school and get their college paid for it. Those are engineering positions, but there's also technician positions as well. So, you know, a little less schooling, more on the job training, uh, depending on if you're more of a hand, hands-on um, learner, if you like the, the technician environment more so than the engineering environment. So there's options for everybody. So do, do your homework, research them, research the companies, know what you're getting yourself into be knowledgeable, ask the correct questions, you know, see what all that entails. So what's the first step um, after you've researched, right? Go out to the open houses. So on the last slide, okay, you can scroll all the way to the bottom. There's a QR code. You'll fill out that information. You'll be on their email list. You might have to check your junk mail um, because sometimes your emails will get flagged. Junk, I have to do it all the time and you know, pay attention to the details of where the companies are meeting in the morning, what companies you're going to, what, what you wanna evaluate on both Saturday, February 10th and Saturday, February 17th. 
All right, y'all, that's my 10 minute mark. Uh, if you have questions, please come see me in 604 or Miss Edge, our career development coordinator up in uh, 200s at Olympic High School.